Tor. Ganz trockener Schuss mit links. Und Raimund Aumann hat nur nachgeschaut. Wir werden es in der Zeitlupe sehen, dass er kaum eine Reaktion zeigte. Ungefähr so wie das Tor von Hoeneß vorher. Vorher ist gut. Das Tor von Hoeneß war in der 42. Minute. Jetzt sind wir in der 83. Nico. Beardsley. And now Johnston. Oh, Byrne wanting a long time to clear that. He dwelt on it too long. Barnes. And Barnes again. Three. Barnes, the scorer, after a very good one-two with John Aldridge. But the man who takes the blame, really, Ben the Gilmani say, John Byrne, who got caught with in possession, 20 yards out. The ball was moved around quickly. Barnes to Aldridge, back to Barnes. And that's a great finish. Well, the cop saying easy. It may be now. It wasn't for a long time. Oh, Barnes won it. He won it from Brock. He's got Beardsley going to his left. It's still Barnes. That's a fabulous individual goal. Stadium and this successful club. He won the ball from Kevin Brock, and my word, how he punished him. Ran on, tripped them, jinked his way through, and finished in fine style. No wonder he's become such a favourite with the cop already. Just listen to them. An Aldridge through ball and a gentle Barnes volley gave Liverpool the lead. It looked like a quiet afternoon was in prospect. After half an hour, Barnes came back, fashioning with a little help from Beardsley one of the season's great goals. A break from nowhere left them with not just a spare man, but with Barnes, probably the most accurate player in the league. In the second half, Liverpool went straight at Charlton. Ray Houghton did all the preparation, while Barnes produced another memorable moment for Liverpool fans. Liverpool, often breathtaking to watch this season, are also good business. More than 28,000 watched this match, four times the usual Charlton crowd. Nicole. Beardsley, a lovely header by Beardsley for Houghton, blocked out by him towards Barnes! A brilliant goal! A masterpiece of a goal for Liverpool by John Barnes. Barnes marked his return with Liverpool's fourth. The second half now, and very soon, the seemingly inevitable, a goal for Liverpool. Barnes on the ball, and his cross deflected in off the unfortunate Gilbert. With five minutes left, Peter Beardsley and Ray Houghton set up Barnes's second goal, which settled the issue and leaves the question, can anyone stop Kenny Dalglish's Liverpool? Johnston, the inspired provider, Barnes, the clinical taker. 
one up and with their defensive record Liverpool could start the celebrations and here's Barnes he's got Johnston and Beardsley up with him Beardsley away on the left City with five defenders back and here's John Barnes this could be number four it is that's the tenth time this season that Liverpool have hit four goals and it's just a matter of uh, formally playing the last five minutes to put them into the semi-finals of the FA Cup John Barnes nicely into his stride looked up as Stahl came out Wide of the keeper, goal number four. Well, Barnes is a great player and he's taken them on here and he just knocks a little ball out wide, as you see, and then makes a little straight run in behind the defence and Beardsley uh, sees him and just knocks a simple little ball in. As Ian was saying early on, it's simplicity and he just goes on to it now and just tucks it in alongside the goalkeeper. You can't have anything any better and any more. And in the second half, Beardsley's cross and Johnston's knockback gave John Barnes the opportunity to make it two. crashes it and he scored Barnes has scored in the 75th minute direct from a free kick Spackman ran over the ball Barnes hit it from what 25 yards high into the net Arms full of running on that left hand side all the way by John Barnes a great break there by Liverpool and a goal that they've been threatening to score from quite early on in the game finally coming with 30 minutes of the match gone who appeared at one point maybe to have lost the chance picked himself up and put it together again and it's in the back of the net for a one goal lead for Liverpool here's Barnes in a bit of space Aldridge ahead of him rush inside him Barnes might go all the way it's in the back of the net John Barnes chances had more of the game but it took a little bit of magic from the number 10 John Barnes that extra bit of pace there guiding it past Lukic and Liverpool are in the lead only his third goal of the season but a superb piece of play by John Barnes here we are again a different angle but, uh, in fact, Lukic got a fairly good touch to it. There's so much about each other, these two sides now, that you feel it'll take a little bit of magic to separate them. Here's Barnes, skipping his way through, stomping on the far side. Barnes with the shot! And at last, the chance has been accepted, and Liverpool are in the lead. Really, of his goal at Anfield in the first of those Little Wood Cup games in that same sort of channel, skipping past one challenge after another. Staunton came in on the left and looked for a moment as though he might get the shot, but Barnes, in fact, puts it across Lukic's body and Liverpool in the lead. And now, from our camera inside the goal, and the ball in there now to join it. Aldridge has made a run, one side, Barnes on the other. And Liverpool in the lead. A shot by Barnes, deflected on the way, but in the back of the United net. And Liverpool going to the lead.
that man. A lot of space for Beardsley. Four in the area for Liverpool. One of them is Barnes, who scores with great ease. So much space there. And the disappointed goalkeeper looks on as the scorer is congratulated. There was so much room for Beardsley. He was able to turn, pick his man. And the marking on Barnes was non-existent, as indeed it was on Aldridge, number eight, who celebrates as the ball goes in. John Barnes, his sixth goal of the season, and a really very, very comfortable header. Not too much support for Ian Hesford here. And he was well beaten. Sinton. Blissett. And he tried to lay it back to Cochrane. Didn't quite get the contact that he wanted. John Barnes to run at Feely. He gets over the fullback. Now at Evans. On his left foot. him and Liverpool come again Aldridge Beardsley's gone on beautifully done and Barnes got just a touch but it was enough Aldridge jumping Beardsley's in again and the Ray Houghton they're queuing up now Barnes Liverpool turning on the style Ever Liverpool take it quickly in by Venice and Aldridge going up. Barnes is in there, and Barnes has equalised. A rare headed goal for John Barnes. Barnes, that's a good bit of play. And he's put it in, John Barnes for Liverpool. The players all across the field jump in delight as Liverpool come from behind to win. A typical run by John Barnes in the light of the travelling Anfield fans. And Liverpool, out of sorts for so long in this game, now find themselves in front. A lovely little flick there, wide of the keeper. But full pelt from John Barnes. Liverpool 2-1. Barnes. Still Barnes. The shot deflected. the best touch of all this afternoon has been John Barnes now let's see what he can do with this spot kick for Liverpool Barnes against Charnoff as true as you like 16 minutes into the second half and John Barnes puts Liverpool into the lead John Barnes, who scored uh, a penalty for Liverpool in one of their pre-season games at Wembley, takes over the responsibilities in the absence of John Aldridge. And Dibble can't prevent him giving Liverpool the lead in seven minutes. Beardsley opening it up for Barnes down this near side. Comin, the young fullback. He's in trouble here as the fullback. Great work from Barnes. A deflection and it's in. Liverpool are in front, a fine individual goal from John Barnes. Barnes, 2-0 Liverpool. Liverpool. 
Barnes sizes up the possibilities and it goes over the wall and it's a perfect free kick on a perfect night for Liverpool who needs penalties when you've got a player who can take free kicks of that quality no reprieve for suckling no stopping it Liverpool really wrapped it up at a canter Staunton finding John Barnes what a game Beasley problems again for Everton this time John Barnes and Everton surround the referee John Barnes has his first goal in a Merseyside derby and it did look on the cards Delivered the cross and Barnes powered it in. Beardsley, McMahon, Houghton. Look at this break by Barnes now. The flag stays down and the ball is in the net by John Barnes. They are playing some stuff now. A brilliant goal for Liverpool in the most superb style by John Barnes his seventh of the season and his first in five games they are breaking superbly from these midfield positions magnificent goal Brian it had to come didn't it they created so much it was so much on the cards that inevitability was the word really Barnes will take the kick himself against David Seaman. 1-1. One, one. No complaints from Queen's Park Rangers. Barnes. It's 3-2. Rangers rocking in defence. And Barnes punishes them the two goal cushion is cut in half with John Barnes striking for the second time Thompson oh he's in trouble here with Rush and holds him Barnes a delicate chip and it's in a superb goal by Barnes 38 minutes gone a mistake and a moment of magic have given Liverpool the lead. John Barnes, 10th goal of the season, but it was that mistake in the middle there by the defender Thompson that led to it. Barnes profited, and the finish was exquisite. Thompson got himself in all kinds of trouble there with Rush. Absolutely superb goal, great chip. He always looked the man most likely, and he succeeded. We're having a conversation now, who's going to take this? Well, that's something Arsenal don't know. And Lukic would like to know. It's going to be Barnes. Curl brilliantly! What a fabulous free kick goal! What a glorious moment of pure ball skill from John Barnes Whelan runs over it Barnes in true Brazilian style floats it inch perfect wide of Lukic and Liverpool are two up Jimmy Greaves well it's something in the game that you can make for as much provision for as you want to you can practice you can get your line right you can do whatever you want for hours on end but when a flash of brilliance like that comes up there's nothing anyone can do about it. Just over a quarter of an hour gone. Staunton. And Barnes is in! Liverpool, a goal ahead. Freezing December day here at Anfield. Johnny Barnes in the tights and black gloves. Staunton. And this attacking is relentless. There goes Staunton past two players. Whipped in. There's Barnes. Goal number one. 
John Barnes, his 13th goal of the season. It was created by Staunton, he went past Curtis, he went past Trick, he whipped the ball across, right to the far post, and there was Barnes, 1-0 to Liverpool. It, it all stemmed from this run by Staunton, past two players, right across the face of the goal, and Coleman couldn't prevent Barnes from making it 1-0. Bidley, through to McMahon, looks up, Barnes, 3-0 to Liverpool, John Barnes, that was the pass that made it from Beardsley, McMahon had time to look up, saw Barnes coming in, quick side foot, 3-0 to Liverpool. Here it is again, look at McMahon's pass, straight in for Barnes, Liverpool 3, Swansea City 0. Barnes assesses the angles and clips it, oh. well words really fail you, that is a scintillating free kick, particularly because I think everyone in the ground knew what he was going to do, including Chamberlain, but he just couldn't get there. And here's Dale Gordon for Norwich. Hansen for Liverpool, and Beardsley picks it up again. A longer ball this time. Barnes! Yes! And that's the real long ball that counts. Because the vision which Kenny Dalglish's team showed there, and Peter Beardsley in particular, was of such a high order that he picked Barnes out, and the flying header one of the goals that you'll always remember. Barnes. Burrows. A line of Liverpool players on the edge of the area. McMahon. Venison. Return to him well by Nicol. Oh, Watson can't get there. Barnes does. Liverpool have scored. Liverpool show that no matter how many defenders you set out to try and stop them, they can find a route through. And after the build-up on the right with Nicol and Venison, Barnes reached a ball played behind the defenders. John Barnes will take the kick. There's a wall of four with a Liverpool player joining it at either end. And uh, Mr. Lynch wants them further back. Right on the line, I suspect. And Barnes. Oh, brilliant! What a great free kick by John Barnes. David Seaman got a hand to it, I think. But he couldn't keep it out, and Liverpool have equalised. And this was a John Barnes special. Seaman off to his right, he did get both hands possibly to it, but the ball was curling away from him into the roof of the net. Got by Benison. Alton. Finding Beardsley, away on the left, in a lot of space is Barnes and he's onside. United have been caught out here, will they be punished? They are by John Barnes. 1-0. Exactly the point you made, Markinson. Ryan, yes, that's always the problem when you're working an offside trap. Barnes has thrown it brilliantly. Beardsley's timed his pass beautifully. Bruce has stayed in. Pallister's looking along the line here, thinking that Barnes is offside. But in the middle, Bruce is in a very, very deep position. You can't quite see his on camera. But full marks to Barnes, he slotted him well. John Barnes against Leighton. It's 2-0 to Liverpool. Houghton takes it, Barnes meets it, angles it perfectly. John Barnes 
in the 15th minute for Liverpool after Southampton were beginning to make Liverpool worry and that's the hallmark of a class side to hit back in this way just helped on right into the corner Barnes scores the goalkeeper went the right way but the kick was true in the corner and Liverpool lead by three goals to two and from being 2-1 up Palace has suddenly jumped on their backsides and can't really believe what's happened to them most of all Pemberton well, it's an incredible turnaround in just the two or three minutes. And uh, to be fair, it looked like Liverpool wasn't going wasn't to do it. Mortimer. Tanner's tackle. Mulby. Given time to pick the pass. And he spotted John Barnes against Mark Reid here. And Barnes gets the shot in. It's four for Liverpool. They really got the semi-final out of their systems in the best possible way. And this was the angle that Barnes saw, and he found the gap splendidly. And Barnes now. Shot charged down. Rosenthal. Trying to get once more to that byline. Gets there. Nickel. Crossed in once more. Barnes. It's there. John Barnes. Well, it was a goal that was always coming in the last quarter of an hour or so as Liverpool really applied the pressure. Ron Atkinson. Yes, well, it's, it's a good ball in, it's a super ball in. I think Arsenal have passed a little bit unfortunately. They've gone for upside and both those stayed in there. But here goes the newly crowned footballer of the year, John Barnes. 2-1. That might mean the championship. Rush. McMahon. Mulby's gone on, and Barnes! And that's 2-1 Liverpool. Staunton, Hussein storming forward, and Barnes! That's his second, Liverpool's third. Mulby, rush, and Barnes on the left flank now. Oh, he's done, Clark, comfortably. This could be the hat-trick. It is a glorious finish by John Barnes. One-one. Well, it's always a risk, I suppose, when a defender commits himself to that sort of tackle inside the box, Trevor. It was a little bit harsh on that tonight, of the fact that the clearance got a, a fortunate ricochet, went back to John Barnes, just gave him that little bit of opening. Uh, I just feel he had enough space actually perhaps to get the shot in unless unless his standing foot was taken away from him. I mean he tucked away the penalty there very comfortably. Infield rush. And held him at bay again. It's come back for Nickel and John Barnes gets in and Pemberton has missed it. And tragedy for Pemberton. The first goal has gone to Liverpool's John Barnes, one of the simplest of his career. But total sympathy for the standing goalkeeper who rushed out, his intentions were good, but unfortunately he got it all wrong. And Liverpool have been handed the lead on a plate. Barnes broke the offside rule, Pemberton couldn't get his hands on the ball, and Barnes had a simple tap-in to an empty net. Nicely timed, the overlap from Ablett. Barnes, Price first to him again. With as much strength as he can muster oh my word what can you do about that absolutely nothing Villa thought they were going to hold out 
but they reckoned without the brilliance of Barnes inside the final three minutes. Little chip by Barnes. Brilliant goal by John Barnes. He held off beautifully here. Wimbledon possibly were expecting the little chip cross. It was a real chip shot, and stretch as he might, Segers couldn't quite get to it. Barnes. Rush to Barnes. Back goes Phelan. In goes Beardsley, but Ince got the better of him. But here's Houghton. Great stuff by Liverpool here. And it might come for Barnes. team be three down after contributing so much to such an attractive first half it'll be John Barnes two in a minute Liverpool have taken Goodison by storm with two goals inside of a minute John Barnes gets the second Sheffield United still hadn't won a single league game, but they kept out the Reds for an hour. Peter Beardsley, left out at Arsenal, set up John Barnes, complete with winter warmers. With Arsenal surprisingly held at home by Wimbledon, Liverpool were busy repairing the damage of the previous week. Barnes finding the space and finding the corner, raising the temperature on the cop. They lapsed into an unaccustomed habit of losing the lead in games. John Barnes put them ahead at Loftus Road. Mark Parker equalised. Staunton. McMahon burrows to his left. Went past Strachan as if he wasn't there. Chance for Barnes! Flying start. Eight minutes gone. Liverpool in front. David Burrows with a wicked cross. Everybody thought they could reach it, but only Barnes could. Once again, they lost the lead in a crucial game. John Barnes firing them spectacularly in front against Wimbledon, only to see Warren Barton drill a free kick into the same cop-end goal late in the game. Barnes, free kick to Liverpool. Three minutes to go to half-time in extra time. Except look, the brightest player on the park in this period, apart from that was just been level south of. We've got to be tremendously alert to produce two stunning saves. Barnes. It looks for goal! And finds it! For a fourth time, Neville Southall has to pick the ball out. Well, what can you say about this man that hasn't already been said? Look at the bend on it. A goalkeeper that's in the form of Southall has no chance. It's a quite magnificent finish, and I don't apologise for using the word magnificent, because that's what it is. David Speedy. Peter Beardsley. A little bit too far for Houghton, but he's gathered it off Poynton. Got Barnes to his left. Here is John Barnes. Onside. That'll do it. That'll finish Manchester City off. John Barnes, with just four minutes remaining, makes it 3 0 to Liverpool. Manchester City with so much committed to the rescue act. Undone again by Liverpool, slick passing. And Barnes finished this time precisely to the corner. Ray Houghton just picked his moment to release the ball and picked exactly the right moment to send Barnes for once beyond Brightwell and it couldn't have been a more accurate shot Wright gave Barnes a little nudge there ball retrieved by Gillespie Morby finding Beardsley Rush Barnes beautiful football Rush oh what a shame 
Barnes. Well, it was nearly the perfect goal, wasn't it? But it'll do. Beardsley choosing the moment for Barnes. Right through Shilton. John Barnes second is Liverpool's fourth. Liverpool now putting on something of a masterclass against a, a defence that has been flirting with uh, an offside trap and they just haven't got that right as Barnes strides away and makes it four. This is wonderful. It's slaughter here to Leeds United. But a delight for Liverpool. Again, there was no cover in the centre and the timing of the run was superb and so was the execution from Barnes and Lukic is beaten for a fourth time. A mere 28 minutes elapsing and for 10 of those it was nil-nil. Well, Carl Schutz doesn't believe that this is a lost cause and nor do some 30,000 Leeds United supporters. But Barnes can make it academic it is 2-5 and when they needed him John Barnes has obliged again and the need was growing more pressing rushed it very well very well indeed to get to the ball then to reverse it back to Barnes and Lukic took some of the pace off the shot but he couldn't stop it crossing the line Look at Rush here. He fought for that with White. He opened leads up with the back heel. And Barnes on the break. Another goal for Liverpool. Steve Staunton picked out the flying frame of John Barnes. The relaunch was off the ground. Barnes, an underrated header of the ball, launching himself to make it 1-0. Ray Houghton. Beardsley, Nickel, Barnes, 2-0, John Barnes frees himself of the shackles of his marker to head a second goal for Liverpool, Captain Strauss from Steve Nickel, and John Barnes defeated both the offside trap and the night-long attentions of Alan Pardew to head his 18th goal of the season. Crystal Palace have marked up so tightly, but they let Barnes go there, the flag stayed down, and Barnes made no mistake. Thornley. And in a way by Hall. into Barnes, his time, he makes sure it's Charlie Barnes with his right foot, made by Walters who knocked it in, and John Barnes made no mistake, and it could be an opening day defeat for Oldham after they took the lead. Saunders will take it, right off the goal line by number 11, Rob Edwards, 2-0. Now, who got the last touch on that one? Yeah, it was John Barnes that scored, I think. John Barnes gets the goal, a second for Liverpool, in his comeback match. It's drilled in here by Saunders. A low, fantastic little flick by John Barnes. And that's the quality that's been missing. It was a good clearing header from under the post there by Edwards to start with. Saunders drilled it back. Jones. Uh, now Mulby wants it. They all want it now. Barnes. Still Barnes. To McManaman. Barnes. 3-0. His second in the space of two minutes. And I'm afraid, from Crew's point of view, the match is as good as already over. Liverpool's superiority, emphatically underlined, and just look how well he took that. That was class finishing again, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a great finish for Barnes, but the Crew defence, to be fair, are all over the place. 
And it's amazing that just when you were thought Crewe were getting back in the game, that Liverpool scored the two goals. But that's when you're going to be your most vulnerable when you're throwing men forward. Inside the last minute, and John Barnes the chance to confirm a hat trick, emphatically placed into the corner. And what a way to come back to senior football. If Barnes beats Alan Knight, then Liverpool will take the lead in the penalty shootout. to Liverpool after one penalty for each side. Almost seemed too tired to, to reach the ball there, John Barnes. He kept his composure, picked his spot. Mike Marsh. That wasn't a bad pass, was it? He's got away from Staunton. Marsh it towards Thomas, Barnes maybe, yes! Just when it had seemed that a chance had passed, John Barnes struck the ball into the core of the net. It's his first league goal since the opening day of last season. There have been a lot of heartaches for John Barnes in between times, but he's back all right. The chance seemed to have gone there, he didn't have it under control, he had to turn, bang, go. Surprise, surprise. It's come three minutes before the break, and John Barnes pulls another rabbit out of the hat in the Liverpool cause. John Barnes for Liverpool, this for the lead, they have it. Barnes, who made his debut in the last time that Liverpool won at Highbury back in 1987. Scores again from the spot here at a crucial stage. John Barnes and Mark Walters made the score 2-0 to Liverpool. Mabbott, and it's a red nap. Walters up against Van den Hout. Hill to think about as well. It's a good run. It's Barnes! It's 2 0. And Liverpool's captain owes a big debt of thanks to Mark Walters. His work down the right side. Uh, Pacing Van den Howe, delivering a lovely ball in. Sedgley wasn't close enough to Barnes. And Liverpool double their lead in the final minute of this first half. Redknapp. Hutchison. Walters. The cop celebrate Liverpool's sixth. And what was until five or six minutes ago, a reasonably tight contest is now looking especially one-sided. Tottenham's marking has been shocking. It's Gary Mabbott lost John Barnes. Barnes against Hans Eggers. He went the other way and scored. In front. Good charge down by Fowler. Here's McManaman. It's a wicked ball in. Barnes. 1-1. One, one. McManaman to swing in the corner. The Swindon defenders appear to be ducking there. Now it's Neil Rudder acting as the left winger. Good cross. John Barnes finishes. 
Well, a role reversal between the two of them. You'd expect Barnes to be out there and Ruddock to be in there, but it uh, worked out in the end. Dix. Referee had a good look at that, and Dunn was surely taken out of the play then. Oh, that can't be allowed to stand. Barnes, the scorer. That really can't be allowed to stand. He was flipped out of the way. John Barnes not complaining. Forward by Dix. There was a foul there that could probably have brought a penalty. Then a good save. Now look how Rush definitely takes Gunn out of the way and Barnes scores. chance for Tim Flowers went with such pace into the corner Barnes, foul oh it's got stuck in the water Rob Jones John Barnes 3-0 well Barnes couldn't have expected that chance the ball got stuck in the water Rob Jones reacted the quickest and Barnes said thank you very much indeed Comes to Barnes, floating around the midfield, swinging like a bee. A fast goal from John Barnes. Barnes. Rush, Barnes again. Oh, brilliantly done. Brilliantly done by Liverpool. And it's one apiece. And when you need some composure, then how about this from John Barnes? He knows exactly what he's doing. Slides it into the corner. It's, it's a pass. Corner from Bjornemi. Header from Barnes. 1-0. Simple when it came. And a terrific rise and leap and goal. And picking up Barnes, another terrific header from John Barnes. Towards Barnes, and Liverpool are in front. And John Barnes, who scored the fourth round winner against Burnley, has given Liverpool the perfect start in this fifth round replay. A survivor of that infamous final defeat by Wimbledon at Wembley. The Liverpool captain puts them level. And a well-taken goal it is too. Liverpool moved the ball all the way along the line. McManaman fed Kennedy. Another one of those good left-wing crosses. And John Barnes came away from the defender and rifled it in with his left foot. It's a great finish by Barnes. Of that there is no doubt. Down where Flowers couldn't get it. favoured right this time he goes on his left and touched in by John Barnes Michael Thomas Collymore 
holding off Pearson. Here's McAteer. John Barnes, beautifully done by Barnes. Wonderful goal. Absolutely magnificent. it back beautifully for Barnes oh that's a lovely goal and wasn't that a clever ball by Steve McManaman Barnaby curls it in and that's the second John Barnes the scorer from their captain John Barnes but they need another I remember John Barnes scoring a goal identical to that against Crew Alexandra I think in the FA Cup down at Crew. lovely little bit of skill from uh, from Barnes good work by Berger and there John through the legs I've seen him do that before lovely skill all credit to Berger here he got away from Quanton his marker got it down the byline worked it across thank you very much Steve Pearce is trying to score the corner, I think, but Berger's shot actually came off someone. Certainly he thought so. There be no other reason for him scrambling wide of his goal. And when he gets this hopelessly wrong, to hit it back in field. Wow, 10 out of 10, Barnsley. That's a great goal. Like the That's a bit more like it from Liverpool, having conceded a goal from the corner. They forced the corner of their own. It's taken quickly. And Barnes is free! Schmeichel couldn't keep it out! The quickness of thinking from Liverpool has led to an equaliser from the captain. Well, it was quick thinking. Mark Wright was only halfway here. But they take a quick corner. Look at the marking on Barnes. It's non-existent. Two players who are good headers of the ball have been given free headers from inside 12 yards. 